What is it? Apple man mother curry. Apple. 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 Apple is that uh, sweet thing. ABS traction not required, no? Guys, like, it was fun, <laughs> super fun. <laughs> it's kind of fun, uh, what adventure or something? Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> We saw in the video so far that quite a few things that happened in the School of Dirt. I'm here to tell you what to expect for your first session of uh, the School of Dirt. First up, the session or the program we participated in, uh, this happened between April 8th and 10th. Uh, the program we participated in was called the Full Experience Program. So day one, now this is the day where you meet up. Uh, you meet up as a team at uh, <coughs> slightly further from uh, Munar Top Station. We all meet up as a team there. Rish and Ausip will join us and then they will take us to our accommodation. Once you reach there, settle down, uh, change your gear, you know, change out of your gear. Uh, Ausip will take us back to the bike. He will help us uh, set up the bike for the next day's trail ride. Now, when I say set up, uh, things like uh, setting up the handlebar, uh, airing down the tire, suspension setting and so on and so forth. He will also answer a lot of questions and he will also explain the logic behind why we are doing what we are doing. So day two, you will have uh, day two, that's Saturday, the first day of trail riding. Post breakfast, you assemble as a team and then head out to the, uh, the trail. You will have two different uh, trails which you get to ride during that particular day. Trail one is comparatively easier to trail two. Now, for a newbie like me, who is, you know, this is the first time I'm ever riding my bike uh, in an off-road kind of a setup. And for that matter, this is, at least the, the trails we were riding on kind of looked pretty difficult. It built a lot of anxiety in me and it's, it's actually quite nerve-wracking. However, once you reach there, uh, Ausep will walk you through what to expect and what you need to be doing 
to cross each section of that trail. He will do that and he'll show it to you. So once you're done with both the trails on Saturday, then you kind of head back to where you're put up, have dinner and then go to sleep. Uh, but before sleeping, uh, you know, once once you settle in, it's, is when you start taking a stock of what has actually happened to you or to your bike. Uh, and if it's not a major damage, then you essentially get a sense of euphoria, a sense of victory, uh, mostly a sense of accomplishment. And then day three, uh, Sunday, it again, uh, once your breakfast is done, uh, you assemble as a team. Now on a Sunday, it's, it's a slightly advanced uh, trail. You travel to Munar. Uh, the, the Sunday's trail is closer to Munar. Uh, it's slightly more advanced. And what you can expect here will be more trickier trails and stream crossing and so on and so forth. Once you're done with this trail, uh, then you have lunch and then uh, post that you guys uh, head out to your respective destinations. Now comes the part of what you need to expect uh, at the School of Dirt. Very high possibility that you'll drop your bike. Chances are that it might not be a major damage. In our session, nobody got hurt really badly and nobody had any major damage on the bike. We had minor scratches on our uh, engine guard or bark busters and so on and so forth. But other than that, nothing major. Second thing is you can expect your bike to be covered with slush, mud, dirt. Once you come back home, you can either uh, give it to the service center to get a thorough cleaning or you can do it yourself. But yeah, that is also something which you can expect. Since you are uh, in Mona, Kerala, there is a very high possibility that you can expect rain. If you have Gotex, you know, gear, then you're kind of sorted. But if you don't, do remember to carry your rain gear and wear it. It'll be a very inconvenient experience for you to ride the next day with uh, in in uh, wet gear. So yeah, this is what you can expect. As I said, I have never done off-road training or riding before this, and and definitely not in trails like these. So this was a great confidence booster. I believe it makes you a better rider. So yeah. Let's get back to the video. First session is done. Apparently it was the easier trail. We are getting onto a technical trail now. The weather is cloudy, it's gonna rain. So this is the starting of uh, trail two, level two. And just so that you know, we Few of us have successfully come down so far. And there you go. How sir? The master. So Anand's jacket is not brown in color. It is black. But this mistake I did. I was like a. So we are in Mona town. This tribe is there. There is a BPCL petrol pump.
we are heading back home now that's Rishi Yeah, guy, he thinks he's on a circuit, but on a track. <sighs> Here's one way to sleep, with a mosquito net on your face. Finally we have reached home. We have checked the trip meter. I have no idea what the trip is. Trip meter is. Oh I'm so happy to be back home. Home sweet home. That's where I think some tired bugger would have said that. I can relate to it.